Aaron Rodgers, you know, this is a guy whose legacy is on the line. One Super Bowl appearance in his career. It has felt incomplete. It has felt like a partial failure. Yes, he's got the one. He's got the win. He's got the Super Bowl MVP. Brett Favre was never a Super Bowl MVP. But, but. What does the future hold? Let's play a little Aaron Rodgers from earlier this week, shedding some light or not on where things go from here for him, win or lose, Super Bowl or not. Here's Aaron Rodgers. I'm always just trying to stay present, especially this year as much as anything, and just uh, enjoy the moments. And, and uh, I hope there's more opportunities, but I don't know. I mean, I really don't. And that's stuff that's out of my control. I mean, my future uh, – is a, a beautiful mystery, I think. You know, it's become more of a beautiful mystery now than before. Before, he was very resolute and he was very determined and want to play past 40, want to stay with the Packers. And I think the Jordan Love draft pick, and I, I give Mark Murphy some credit for doing some high level button pushing and lever manipulation to get Aaron Rodgers into this sweet spot that he's been in all year where he is focused on the present. He is trying to get the most out of this season. He's not thinking about the future. I, I just, I can't, I, look, they didn't just haphazardly draft Jordan Love. They did it because on one hand, they're trying to think about the future. But on the other hand, to the extent that it gooses Aaron Rodgers in the present, so be it. And it has in a positive way. You know, we thought he was going to be salty and angry and upset. He found a way to just kind of embrace where he is, who he is, what he's doing. And I think that comes through. I'm not thinking about the future anymore. I'm thinking about right now. And maybe that's what you need to get yourself to the point where you get back to a Super Bowl and win another one, Peter. And, you know, look, I think when this, the story of this season in Green Bay is written, regardless of what happens, uh, and I understand when everybody says, oh, there's only one, team that really has a great season. To me, the Green Bay Packers getting back to the NFC Championship game, back to the Final Four again for the second straight time under Matt LaFleur, this team being 28-7 and seven over the last 35 games, when in the, last thir- the previous 35 games, they were 15-19-1. I mean, this is a great accomplishment. This team is on the right path whatever the score of the game and the result is on Sunday. And to me, to emphasize that, Mike, I think you have seen a more zen Aaron Rodgers than you've ever seen in your life. And, and you know, he's not, he's not mad at the world sometimes. He doesn't, like, kind of quietly lash out at, at his critics. Okay, and, and the other day, I talked to Brandon Staley, and I congratulated him on getting the job, and... And we went back and I talked to him about what happened after the game. He had 30 seconds on the field, 20 seconds on the field with Aaron Rodgers after the game. And, you know, just talking about uh, how, you know, their futures together. And Rodgers thought he was going to be playing them for a long time. But now who knows? And, And the one thing that Brandon Staley said is he said that this guy is playing quarterback at a perfect level. And look at how happy he is. Look at how content he is. And it's just a totally different Aaron Rodgers. That's not going away. That will last into 21 and 22. And as I've said, Mike, I believe that uh, that the quarterback, Jordan Love, who was drafted to be Aaron Rodgers' heir, will instead be Aaron Rodgers' Jimmy Garoppolo. You know, that the Packers will end up trading Jordan Love. Because look, can you imagine Aaron Rodgers breaking down in two years? I can't. And I, I think he's got, if he wants it, he's got several years left. He was about the same age when uh, Tom Brady saw Jimmy Garoppolo show up. And even though Garoppolo was a second-round pick, it had that same effect. The Patriots hadn't, hadn't won a Super Bowl in, in 10 years, and they won three promptly after the arrival of Garoppolo and then Garoppolo ends up in San Francisco. So that may be exactly what at some level it was calculated to do for Aaron Rodgers because we have seen a higher level from him. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.